Welcome to Ridgeview High School, where we expect success in the four A's, academics, activities, arts, and athletics through a STEAM M curricula, science, technology, engineering, arts, math, and medical. Ridgeview Arts Innovation for Medical Science, commonly referred to as Ridgeview Ames, is a school-wide magnet where we prepare today for success tomorrow. Ridgeview Ames offers a premier learning environment by providing authentic, collaborative, engaging, and meaningful learning experiences and opportunities that prepare students for the 21st century challenges and responsibilities of global citizenship. We're going to take a tour of our school to help you get acclimated with our building layout so that when you get to Ridgeview, you have a good idea of where to go. We'll start here in our main office. When she's not in the classrooms with students and teachers, or in the halls engaging with students during transition, this is where you will find our premier principal, Dr. Brenda Mack Foxworth. Our main office is home to several office staff to include our athletic and fee secretary, our student data coordinator, and our attendance secretary. There is another administrator located in this space as well. I'm now going to take you to the center hallway, which is the gateway to anywhere you want to go here at Ridgeview High School. The center hallway also houses our media center and School for the Arts, which includes our media and visual arts courses. From this point, if you look left and right, you will see two of our five major hallways, A Hall and D Hall. Let's head down A Hall first. Before entering A Hall, you will find Blazer Academy. Blazer Academy is home to our freshman class. Every freshman student is a part of Blazer Academy, where they have a community of educators who are committed to helping freshmen acclimate to high school and make a successful transition throughout their time at Ridgeview. A Hall predominantly includes freshman core classes with the exception of science courses. We will show you where the science department is later in the tour. You will also find our testing and tutoring center and our world language department. As you turn the corner at the end of A Hall, you will find our school nurse's office, one of our school resource officer's office, and one of our administrative assistants who distributes lockers if you need one and parking passes for those of you who drive to campus. Our cafeteria is also located on this end of the building. Let's take a look inside. Here is our cafeteria where you will have the opportunity to have nutritious meals at the start of your day for breakfast and during lunch. If you ride the bus in the morning, you will enter the building through the bus loop. Here is our bus loop where you will be dropped off in the morning and picked up in the afternoon for bus riders only. All right, let's get back to the tour. So far, we've seen the main office, A Hall, the cafeteria, and the school bus loop. Here is our center hallway again. As you can see, there are two hallways in view, B Hall and C Hall. B Hall is the home to many of our upperclassmen English, math, and social studies courses. JROTC is at the end of this hallway and there is also an assistant principal located on this hallway as well. At the end of B Hall you will see the hallway that leads to the cafeteria and back down A Hall. As we approach D Hall you will see one of our assistant principal office. This is also our college bound hallway where you will see the flags that represent many colleges and universities. We are going to take a look at D Hall, which is our science hallway. Most of our science classes will be taught on this hallway. It also includes our master hair care and barbering lab. At the end of the hallway, you will find the gear up room for the class of 2024. 
And just beyond these double doors, you will find our auditorium where we host parent meetings, facilitate pride assemblies, and showcase our performing arts. Students drop off is right outside the auditorium for car riders. Now let's take a look down C Hall. C Hall houses some of our performing arts classes. It also houses our AVID program, several career and technology education courses, and our magnet director for the Scholars Academy for Business and Law. You also have access to an assistant principal. Our Blazerville School Store is also located on C Hall. As we exit C Hall, you can see how our building is connected. And now we are back in the center hallway. We have one more hallway that we want you to see and then I'm going to show you some other special areas in the school. M Hall is where you will find our multi-purpose room, our weight room, student activities, and several magnet courses for the Institute of Health Sciences, as well as the director for that magnet program. You also have an assistant principal on this hall and your school-wide magnet director. Here is our Mayo PE hallway. Down this hallway, you will find our athletic director's office and several other coaches' offices. This hallway leads you directly to our main gym, which is home to several of our sports team, including our three-time boys basketball state champions. On the other side of this wall is our small gym where several of our sports teams practice and compete. This is our female PE hallway. You will also find our dance room and our athletic training room if you need treatment. As we exit, you will see C Hall. And if you remember, this takes you right back to the center hallway. Here is our media center where students can come to study, check out books, get an ID, and attend lessons facilitated by our media specialists, among other things. Our news show is also produced right here in our media center. The last stop on our tour is our school counseling office. Our school counseling office is home to four of our five school counselors. Our registrar, our school counseling secretary, social worker, career development facilitators, and college information specialist. Whatever help you need as it relates to your social, emotional, academic, or career development can be offered to you here. We encourage every student to get to know their school counselor and the other members of our school support team. Well, that wraps up the tour. We are so excited to have you join our Blazer family, and we look forward to the endless possibilities that you will have at Ridgeview Ames. Go Blazers! Good afternoon. So hopefully you got the opportunity to enjoy our virtual school tour, bringing you in our center hallway, letting you get a walk down A hall, which is primarily for ninth graders and 10th graders, their core classes. And then you got to see B hall, which is if you are a upperclassman, a lot of your core classes, English, Math, Science, Social Studies, they will be held on that hallway. Our Delta Hall, D Hall, mostly our science wings are there, and our Career Technology Education, C Hall, not to be remiss, not to mention, you also got the opportunity to see M Wing, where we have our Health Science Magnet, our uh, Career and Technology Health Science courses, our weight room, although, we're getting a new weight room, so it's going to be changing location. But hopefully you got the opportunity to enjoy the school tour, and our student ambassadors in years past would be here walking with you, answering any questions that you may have, but unfortunately COVID-19 has put a damper on all of that. But with that being said, my name is Dr. Brenda Mac Foxworth, and I am the proud, proud principal of the Ridgeview Arts Innovation 
for Medical Sciences Magnet School. Welcome to our virtual New to Ridgeview parent and student meeting. Yay! So I'm just going to imagine that you guys are sitting out here in the audience, although you're probably sitting at home or your office or your car watching this. I'm just going to use my imagination because this is like one of my favorite times of the year where we get to talk to you, welcome our new students and parents, and answer any questions that you may have. Um, so, Ridgeview High School, it was open in 1995. Our mascot is the blazer. Our school colors are purple and silver. Speaking of purple and silver, let me pause and give a shout out to the class of 2020. They purchased this nice school gift, this gift, this podium for the school, and we are so appreciative. Thank you, class of 2020. So, this evening, while we're virtual, we are still going to be available to answer any questions that you may have during this presentation. So let me begin. I want to introduce you to members of the Ridgeview Admin Leadership Team. My assistant principals, Dr. Chasty Evans, Evans, she's the assistant principal for instruction. Ms. Melissa Myers, assistant principal. Mr. Brandon Ross, assistant principal. Mr. Mike Young, assistant principal. Assistant Administrator for ninth graders, we have Kenneth Pace. Assistant Administrator for 10th graders, Mr. Alan Wolf. Our Blazer Academy team, the Blazer Academy team. The lead teacher for ninth graders is Ms. Charlene Cox. The ninth grade freshman school counselor is Mr. Ahmad Stevens. Our student activities director, she is the uh, leader for, if you have a passion or interest in different clubs, organizations, anything that's non-athletic, she's your go-to person. That is the lovely Miss Paige Bunnell. Our athletic director, Mr. Brian Rosefield. And lastly, Dr. Jean Green is the lead teacher for the CAT program. And that is a smaller learning community that focuses on engineering and computer science. Now that's just a few members of my admin leadership team. You're going to meet other members later on and Dr. Evans will introduce you to them. So when we think about learning, let's talk about learning. This learning that will occur in phase one is going to be e-learning. We have an expectation for success. I expect each of you to be successful. I do realize that sometimes being in the building is gonna be more difficult, but nevertheless, it's my expectation for this class because all the classes that have come before you have been successful and you too will be. We will just do it a little bit differently. That's how we will begin this year with e-learning. So, when I tell you that we are a school that's focused on developing a child in all areas, we expect success in academics, athletics, arts, and activities. And because we have that expectation, my job, the role of my admin, the role of our teachers and counselors is to make sure that we put the support system and give you everything that you need to help you reach the state of success. Let me talk to you for a second about communication. Um, this year, I get to say that I'm the proud parent also of a member of the class of 2021. So I will have a student, a child, a daughter in the senior class. And so I understand the role of parents in communication. It is so, so important. And so we have various ways that we'd like to communicate with you. Um, and so all that we ask is that you pick your top two favorite and use those mechanisms. So you will have, hear more about our daily blog at The View. 
at The View Daily Blog. You'll get some more detailed information later from Ms. Myers, I believe, on how to sign up for that. But we use that to celebrate, we make announcements of course, but we use it as a way to celebrate the great things that your children are doing. We are proud of them and we want the whole state, Richland 2 world also to be proud. And so we use that to celebrate them. Connect Ed Messages, that's our district communication system and hopefully um, you are connected to that. We will continue to use Connect Ed. Our teachers, our teachers have website. We also have a school website that lists a lot of activities and events that are occurring in the school. In addition to our teachers website, they will also use their Google Classroom and you will get an access code students a little bit later on on how to access all of your different teachers various Google Classroom. In addition to those items, we will have a student online handbook that will go through um, in detail a lot of things that um, you may have specific questions about. Um, and some of those things that we normally, like we normally cover IDs, talk about lunch, talk about parking, but in COVID-19 e-learning area right now, those things, we're going to talk about those a little bit later, probably as we get closer to phase two, whenever that date will be when we look at the hybrid system. Um, so. Our last mechanism that we use for communication and to celebrate your students, the success that we expect, um, our social media platform, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and our newest platform, Ms. Myers is in charge of it. She's learning how to use TikTok. So we eventually will make our debut on TikTok. Um, so lots of different ways, mechanisms for you to stay informed parents, for you to give us information so that we can share it out with our school community um, about the great things that your, your sons and daughters are doing, not only here in school, but they are so active outside of this building. So please, 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 choose your top two and um, work through those to make sure that you stay informed about what's happening at Ridgeview. Our front office, we are open from eight until four. So please, 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 you have our Ridgeview number. If you need to call, there will be someone throughout the day manning that so that we can access the call, get your communication and follow back up with you. Now, this is the first time, first year, that Ridgeview will have a virtual student orientation. An email was sent to you earlier today that has all of this information about what you need to do in order to access, have access to your schedule, have access to if you need to purchase a yearbook. Um, right now, there are no fees attached to classes because right now you're all on e-learning. So you won't see um, school fees for this particular year. You won't see parking, and some of you may say, how do I get my parking decal? Not yet, because remember, phase one is e-learning, and so you are not expected to be on campus. Um, but, so you look for that information, look for that email if you didn't get it. I think Ms. Finnell is gonna talk a little bit later about what you need to do. But the dates for orientation are already scheduled. August 19th, we'll have seniors, juniors, sophomore, freshmen at a specific time. And August 20th, freshmen, senior, junior, sophomores at a specific time. So go check your emails that came out through Connect Ed. So, with that being said, before I turn the mic over to Dr. Evans, once again, it is indeed my pleasure to serve you. We are here, type in, ask any questions that you want to, and I am imagining all the lovely faces that I see in the audience, and I know you're sitting out in your living room somewhere, and I want to welcome you to the view again. All right, Dr. Evans. Good evening, Blazer families. My name is Dr. Chastity Evans, and I am the Assistant Principal of Instruction here at Ridgeview High School. And I am excited to be here tonight to share with you some information about um, academics. The first thing that I would like for you to know is if you are not, um, if you do not have a password 
um, and log in for Parent Portal, uh, it would be great if you could have that. That would be a great resource for you to have for your student. Um, it will allow you to see their student schedule. It will allow you to see their grades as they are updated in a live manner. And um, if you need questions about that, contact Mrs. Mobley, the student data coordinator, and that is on the screen. Um, academics this summer, there's been a couple of things going on. If you are in just a regular English class, you will be reading Look Both Ways this summer by Jason Reynolds. It's an easy read, and from what I have read and heard from others, it is an um, enjoyable book for students. If you are in an honors or AP class, there's an additional book or books that you will need to read, and you can get that information online. And the summer math calendar for incoming freshmen is also available to you. Um, to earn a high school diploma, you have to have a minimum of 24 academic Carnegie units. And these are four units in English, four units in math, three in science, one U.S. history, a half a unit in government, and a half in econ, one other social studies, uh, one PE, physical ed, ROTC, a computer science, a world language, or career in tech, health, and six and a half elective units. So that is available to you. If you need more information, please let me know, but that is the minimum requirements to earn a high school diploma. So I know what you're all excited about is e-learning, and what is that going to look like this year for phase one as we start the school year on August 31st? So just to give you a little bit of information, it's going to look very similar than if you were in the building here at Ridgeview. You will be e-learning approximately from 8.40 in the morning daily to 3.40, just like if you were in the school building. We are working on a schedule where you'll get to meet face-to-face -face online with your teachers virtually every day of the week. And so all of that information is going to be coming to you, but just know um, for now that that's coming and you will get to see your teachers face-to-face. -face. Teaching and learning will continue just the way it always has um, here at Ridgeview. Um, attendance will also be taken every day in every block just like if you were here in the building. So just know um, that you are expected to attend class every day, um, just like if you were in the building, and students will be required to turn on their cameras, um, at, at least at the beginning and end of class, so that they can build relationships with their teachers, and um, grades will be taken. Last year, we had a little bit different grading scale. This year, we're going back to, um, if you don't do the assignments, you can still earn a zero and things like that. Um, so it will be just like it would be if you were here at Ridgeview. That's what your school day is going to look like, except it's going to be virtually. Um, a couple things that we want you to know about SLANT for online success. Um, so when you are in your classes every day, these are some things that you can do to be engaged in the classroom in a virtual setting. Things like um, having a workspace set up for you um, with all of your materials before class starts. Look at the screen. If possible, have your camera on so you can see your teacher, see her talking to you or him, um, and interact with them differently. Ask questions. You can do this in your chat box, or you can also do this by just, you know, raising your hand and letting your teacher call on you. Just like in a classroom, you can nod your head. It's great if you turn your camera on. Um, and then talk to others. They're going to be, even though you're going to be in a virtual setting, um, again, we're going to try to have it set up and you're going to be able to interact with your teacher and classmates very similarly as you would in a classroom. Here at Ridgeview um, High School, we have quite a few opportunities for magnet programs, smaller learning communities, and so I'm just going to take just a minute to go over all of these. Um, our district-wide school magnet is Ames. You'll probably hear a lot about this. We're not just Ridgeview High School anymore. We are now Ridgeview High School, or Ridgeview Arts Innovation for Medical Sciences High School. So you're gonna hear Ridgeview Ames quite a bit. Um, in this, the benefit of you being a student at Ridgeview Ames is that you will have STEAM M incorporated into every single class that you take this year. And so what does that mean to you as a student and for your child? So you will have science, technolo technology, engineering, arts, math, and medical components embedded into every class. And our teachers will be collaborating with other teachers in other departments, and that is a benefit that you have. The director of this program is Mrs. Ellen Harrison, and she is our magnet director here. 
and she takes care of everything that we need. If you need to know anything about um, our school-wide magnet, she is the person that you would go to. And in fact, if you see her in the hallway, um, when we're back in school on phase two or phase three, she will often have candy available on her cart if you can tell her what AIMS means. Again, Arts Innovation for Medical Sciences. We also have some other smaller learning communities. Um, our Institute for Health Science Magnet. There is an allied program and a bio health program and the director of that is Mrs. Jennifer McLeod. And there is actually space available in those programs. So if that is something that you're interested in, um, you will have her contact information right here. Please reach out to her. She would love to hear from you. We also have a Scholars Academy for Business and Law. Who um, The director of that is Mrs. Nicole Walker. And her information is on the screen. Um, our Smaller Learning Communities Director for the Early College, Abbott Early College, is Mr. Jeffrey McMicken. And Mr. Micken can answer any questions for you that you have about our Abbott Early College or just our Abbott program here at Ridgeview. Um, we have Blazer Academy, which you all know about, and you're going to be very involved in. Um, their goal is helping freshmen blaze path to success, and they do a very phenomenal job of that. They have their own lead teacher, their own assistant principal, uh, administrative assistant, their own guidance counselor, and their own lead teacher. So you have a lot of support in that area, and we are excited to have you here at Ridgeview. Um, also, a CAP program. Our CAP program is Computer Science and Engineering, and there is also uh, space available in that. And CAP stands for Carolina Alliance for Technology. So if you're interested in computer science and engineering as a possible career, please reach out to Dr. Jean Green, and she will be able to help you with that. Um, and last, well, no, last but not least, is our School for the Arts, um, and the director of that is Mrs. Lane Jordan, um, and that's just another small learning community you can be a part of. At Ridgeview, um, we have also a very fantastic arts program, um, and the department chair for that program is Mr. Chris Nostrand. We have band, chorus, dance, drama, orchestra, visual arts, and world percussion. And that is something that's new to Ridgeview this year. Um, we actually have a entire set of steel drums. And so that is a class that's going to be starting. You do not need any previous band experience to be a part of that. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, steel pans, please let us know and reach out to Mr. Wesley Hips on that. So I think that covers our academic components. Just I want to reiterate one last time that even though we're going to be doing virtual learning this beginning, at the beginning of the year, it is going to look much more like a traditional school day. You'll be at home, but you will be meeting with your teachers every day. You will have face-to-face -face instruction with them. They will be teaching. You will have activities. You will be able to work in collaborative groups with your peers, um, just like if you were in the building. So we are excited about this school year. We're excited about new adventures, and um, we look forward to working with you. If you need anything at all that has to do with teaching and learning, teachers, grades, academics, anything like that, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, again, I'm Dr. Chastity Evans. Thank you. And now, at this time, I have the unique pleasure to introduce our wonderful Student Activities Director, Ms. Paige Vanell. Good evening, my name is Paige Pinnell and I have the pleasure of serving as Ridgeview Student Activities Director. Basically, I'm here to talk to you about my favorite A activities here at The View. I have the pleasure of working with students on a daily basis, making sure that they have opportunities to grow in the various clubs and organizations that they're involved in. And as part of my job, I work directly with our student government organization, which we call Student Council or STUCO for short. The president of that um, organization is Yasmin Lattimore, who serves as our current student body president. So Yasmin leads the charge for various events and activities that we have here, student, um, here at Ridgeview High School. And she also is a voice for her fellow Blazers. And so um, her contact information is here. So any students, if you have concerns, comments, anything that we can do better as a student organization, please feel free to reach out to her or even contact me and let us know how we can make your experience here at The View better. So that's Yasmin Lattimore, our student body president. Um, and we really empower 
empower our student leaders to get involved, our students to, to do what, any activity that they can to, to take charge and command of those things. Um, and so we say that if a student can do it, then an adult should not. So students really are the driving force behind activities and events here at Ridgeview High School. Um, and so we really have a place here for everyone at The View. We have over 60 different clubs and organizations that you can get involved in. Um, and it could be anything such as a mentoring club or groups such as Smooth Movement or the Young Ladies of Elegance. We have our interest groups such as a gaming club or a green student committee for those who like to recycle. And we have, of course, our various honor societies that range from the National Beta Club, the National Honor Society, or um, our new one than the International Desmian Society. Um, and so we are so thrilled to have those many opportunities available for students already in place here at Ridge. Now, you're looking and saying, oh, Ms. Fennell, I'm not interested in any of those things. Those 60 clubs don't appeal to me at all, but I have a really, really great idea. Um, I don't want to deal with the gaming club robotics, but maybe I want to bring, I don't know, Anime back to Ridgeview. You have the opportunity to create your own club or organization, and it's very simple. So if you go through and click on that link and you don't see a club or organization that appeals to you, you are empowered to find 10 kids, find 10 students, and create a club of your own. And so we really want you to take charge of that. In addition to um, different clubs and organizations that are overseas, um, students are allowed to um, get involved in various extracurricular activities here at Ridge. We bring different opportunities to our students so that they can get involved. Um, and student activities is also um, a big, excuse me, big force behind all of our spirit weeks and any service projects we have that are school-wide, such as Winter Wishes or Spring Fling Week. Um, those are things that student council members really um, play a large role role in planning. Um, student activities also is involved in traditional events such as prom and graduation and of course throwing some pet rallies for some of our awesome sports teams and things that do really great things such as winning three back-to-back -back state championships. So um, we are involved in all of those um, various processes. Um, so if you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, I am not alone um, working with student council or student activities. I am fortunate to have four awesome sponsors that represent each of the different classes in student council um, and here at Ridgeview. So if you're interested in events related to freshman class, then you will reach out to Ms. Smith. You can of course contact me, but she works directly with our freshmen, cultivating those leaders, helping them um, create different projects and ideas so that they can have an awesome freshman experience. Um, and the same can be said for all of the other sponsors um, that are involved. Um, one thing I want to mention while I'm talking about all the great work we do, these sponsors really work hard. Um, and because of their efforts, Student Council has been recognized um, on the statewide level with first place um, projects that have won awards. Um, our principal is um, has been recognized as our Administrator of the Year for the South Carolina Association for Student Councils. And so not only is Student Council a great club um, to be part of, but we win stuff as well. Um, lastly, before I leave, I want to talk to you about orientation. I know Dr. Mack mentioned it earlier, but I want to emphasize and stress that orientation for all of our safety is 100% virtual. You can do everything that you need to do to be prepared for school to start virtually, okay? Um, now, the only exception would be if you wanted to pick up textbooks um, and you have not elected to get those electronically, which they are available online, um, then you will have the opportunity to come to the school social distance, of course, wear your mask and pick up your textbooks, but that is not necessary, okay? Um, in addition, if you wanted to pay fees um, in person via cash or check, you can do that on um, your orientation day as well, okay? But all of those things, paying your fees, buying your yearbook, um, doing all those different things that we would traditionally, traditionally do at orientation, you can do those online by logging into Parent Portal. So you should have got an email today, your parents should have got an email today where you can click on various links and go through all the different stations and know and handle your business that you need to for orientation. 
course, if you run into any problems or if you have any questions, you can definitely call, um, not call me, because I'm gonna be running around a little crazy, but you can email me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible with any questions or concerns you have regarding orientation. But we wanna stress that it is virtual. Um, you do not have to come to the school unless you have a need such as getting a textbook or paying those fees that you don't wanna pay online through Parent Portal. That's all I have for you today. I just wanna introduce one of my favorite people with the best voice ever, Coach Roseville, who serves as our athletic director. Hello everybody, my name is Brian Rosefield. I'm your athletic director here at Ridgeview High School. Welcome to our virtual athletic session here. I'm gonna run through some things real quick so you're up to speed on everything athletics at Ridgeview High School. I'm gonna say it here, I'm gonna say it about a million times during this about three minute session. RidgeviewSports.com has everything that you need to know about our athletic department, coaches contact information, physical packets, COVID waivers, my information, anything that you need to know is at RidgeviewSports.com. The first thing that I do wanna go over in order to participate on any team, workout, playing a game, anything like that, you need a completed physical packet, that's four pages, plus a COVID-19 waiver on file with our athletic trainer at Ridgeview High School. That's Kanisha Jenkins, our new athletic trainer at Ridgeview High School. And again, those things can be found at, you guessed it, RidgeviewSports.com. So again, RidgeviewSports.com to get those physical packets and those COVID waivers. There is a $50 athletic fee that will be paid once you make a team at Ridgeview High School. So moving on to our tryout dates, we have three different dates for our fall sports right now. If you look on the screen, you see August 17th, we have girls golf and girls tennis starting up at Ridgeview High School. August 24th, we have volleyball, cross country, and swimming starting up on the 24th. And in September the 8th, we have football and cheerleading. They're able to practice starting on September the 8th. Those winter sports tryout dates are November the 2nd, and spring sports will start up February the 1st. But we have 38 teams here at Ridgeview High School now. We have a lot going on athletically. We have a lot going on throughout the school. We'd love to see you get involved in something. We'd love to see you get involved with athletics, but get involved in something. That's my message to you as well. It will greatly, greatly enhance your experience at Ridgeview High School if you're involved in something. Again, we'd love to have you with one of our 38 sports. We've served 567 student athletes last year alone. So almost a third of our students are student athletes. And again, we do have strength and conditioning that lasts year round. My contact information, very simple, brosefield at richland2.org. If you ever need to find me, that's the best way to catch me. I'm rarely sitting at my desk. You're welcome to call me that 84400. If you catch me there, maybe I can give you a Bojangles gift card or something like that because it's pretty rare. I'm normally running around like a chicken with a head cut off, but that's maybe a bad joke to make Bojangles chicken. I don't know. We'll, we'll leave that one alone. But again, brosefield at richland2.org to get in touch with me. I'll, give you, I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Any question, I'm always willing to listen to any question that you have. Okay, again, RidgeviewSports.com is where to find everything you need, you need to know about our athletic department. And we are super active on social media, very active on Twitter, at Ridgeview Sports on Twitter. You guessed it, at Ridgeview Sports on Instagram. And what do you think Snapchat is? Yep, you guessed it, Ridgeview Sports. So again, everything at Ridgeview Sports. If you need to get in, in contact with our new athletic trainer, Ms. Jenkins, you see her email address right there, kajenkins at richland2.org. And lastly, what we do at Ridgeview High School, we are truly next level across all of our A's, but in this case, I'm gonna talk about athletics. You see the multiple state championships that we've won on the screen here. Basketball has won three state championships in a row the last three years. Girls track a couple years ago, we won a strength and conditioning state championship here at Ridgeview High School. You see the picture in the middle of those kids that are signing to, to play actually at the next level, and that's what we do. We are training kids through sports to grow. And we send them to the next level, we win state championships, we do everything around here at the next level. So you'll see that hashtag a lot as you go through your time here at Ridgeview High School. And at this point in time, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to my personal ping pong coach, Miss Melissa Myers. Good evening, families. 
I am Ms. Melissa Myers. I'm one of the assistant principals at Ridgeview High School. One of my major duties is public relations. As Dr. Mack told you earlier, we have a blog. It's called At The View Daily. The directions are up there on the screen. Uh, these will be emailed out to you so you don't have to worry about copying them down now. We also have several social media sites. We have an RVH Ames uh, Twitter, which is RVHS. We have an Instagram, which is RV Blazer. We have a Facebook, which is RVH Blazers. And then we have a Twitter, which is RVH Blazers and RV Blazers. And we have a TikTok, as Dr. Mack said, this new that I am learning how to use. Uh, this also RV Blazers. So the one first thing I want to talk to you about, other than the interview daily, is our bell schedule. The one that we have shown on the screen is our phase two based bell schedule. We'll have our regular schedule, which includes SSR and announcements. And notice on Wednesday, which is our late start, is when we have advisory. Um, for the first week of school, advisory will be every day, but instead of after the first period, as you see on the schedule, it would be the first thing before your first period class. And as it was said from Dr. Evans, you will receive a Google code, a Google Classroom code for that situation. But they also um, have your administrative caseloads if you want to contact them, as well as the counselor's caseloads. Um, Fennell, who's our student activities director, also created an online handbook. All our student handbooks are online. There's a link to that. It has a lot of information on there as well as about your schedules, how to get parent portal, how to access clubs, one of the, all the different athletic events. There's a lot of things in there for students as parents as well. As far as parking, due to construction, we have shut down or pretty much shut down phase of parking lot D. So this time students will be parking in parking E, which is a, a parking lot near the Highlands. And the visual parking lot will always still be in front of the school. Please understand that in order to park on campus, which won't start until phase two, but you should do this now, a live 25 classes are now virtual and have been posted on the block several times. Please make sure you go to that link and sign up because you cannot get a parking decal with us without having your uh, 1125 certificate. In addition, of course, you need a valid driver's license, you need your registration, and we need your proof of insurance. Ms. McKinney is our person over parking and she will be able to help you with that. We can't emphasize this enough. Please, please, please do not use the food line parking lot. There's a possibility you can get towed. And that is it. I thank y'all. If you have any information that you need from me, you can always contact me. My information was at the beginning. I would like to introduce Mr. Mike Young. Good evening, Blazer families. Um, my name is Mike Young. I'm a new assistant principal um, here to Ridge you this year. Um, I was here when the school opened um, 20 years ago. And so I'm looking forward to my return to being a Blazer again this year. Um, some of my responsibilities are, my biggest responsibility is probably I'm over the Career and Technology Education Program. I'm also working with special ed, um, the support staff, teacher evaluations, the cafeteria, um, duty rosters, and all kind of stuff. So I have mixed up, or I do a little bit of everything, but I am looking forward to being back here this year. What I'm going to talk to you today about is lunch. Um, we have. Of course, you've heard the district talk about three phases. We have phase one, we have phase two, and phase three. In phase one, which starts on the 31st, um, students that get free or reduced lunch can still get lunches if they want to, but they'll need to pick it up from their closest elementary school. And I know the closest elementary school that's here is Rice Creek. So during phase one, which starts on August 31st, anybody that needs free or reduced lunch can pick it up from Rice Creek Elementary School. When we move into phase two, which is a hybrid model where the students will come like two days a week, either Monday and Tuesday or Thursday and Friday, those lunches will be picked up directly at the school. And then of course in phase three, we're all back to school. Eat. Lunch will be as normal as usual at um, Bridgeview. Also don't forget, every year people that get free or reduced lunch, they must fill out the application. So please make sure you go to the Richland 2 webpage and look for the online application. If you don't feel comfortable doing the online application, you can also print it out. Um, and fill it out and turn it into the school. But the quickest way to get a response back to it is to do the online application. It is also available in Spanish if needed. And at the district office, you can always contact 
Nicole Holly Burns at nburns at richland2.org if you have any more information. She's our district person for lunches. I'm also going to talk today about buses. If you have a bus question that the school can help you with, you can contact Mr. Kenneth Pace at kpace at richland2.org. If you have any questions that, that um, Ridge, you can help me with the buses. If it's a bus question about the buses being laid and too many kids on a the seat, then you can reach out to the Killian Bus Hub. That's our hub we work with here. And they can be reached at area code 803-699-2892 to answer any other bus questions that the school might not be able to help you with. I also want to talk a little bit about one of my responsibilities here is the Career and Technology Education Program. One thing we have here is we have a school store called Blazerville where we sell magnets, um, t-shirts, sweatshirts, any kind of stuff you, like that you might want. You can get that stuff here at the school. You could also email our teacher, Mr. Bridges, at ebridges, B-R-I-D-G-E-S, at richland2.org, and he could let you know about what kind of items he has in the Blazer store if you'd like to buy any of those items. Um, once again, I am looking forward to being back at uh, Bridge U after a long absence. It's my pleasure to, to, next, to introduce our next um, AP, Mr. Brandon Ross. Good evening, Ridge U families. My name is Brandon Ross, and I serve as one of the assistant principals at Ridge U High School. And I'm so excited to be in front of you this evening uh, to discuss a few areas of responsibilities and just to help you get prepared for the new year. Uh, this is going into my fourth year at Ridgeview High School, and this is going to be a special year, an intriguing year for all of us, but I'm confident that we're going to get through it. Some of my responsibilities include being the facility manager at Ridgeview, so managing the overall facility um, and the upkeep of the facility, um, safety, I work with Ms. Manel with student activities, I work with Coach Rosefield with athletics as well. One of my new responsibilities this year, which I am most excited about, is working with our freshman academy. Many of you represent the class of 2024 and I will be your assistant principal this school year and I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited to work with our lead teacher, Ms. Cox, our school counselor, Mr. Stevens, our assistant administrator, Mr. Pace, our secretary, Ms. Reed, and with all 410 of our incoming freshmen to make sure you get acclimated to high school and make sure you have a successful first year and that we move you to the next level, which will be 10th grade for all of you. And so I'm so excited about that. When we initially went out uh, in March at the end of last school year, I'm very much energized by students and by students being in the building and being able to converse and communicate with them uh, on a daily basis. Uh, so I was very much looking forward to coming back to school at some point. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Um, and I know a lot of us are looking forward to getting back to what we call normal. Um, and there's a few things that we all need to do just to make sure that one day we can get back to a place of normalcy or as close to normal as possible. And we've broken that down into what we call the four W's, okay? The four W's. And it, and it goes along with uh, part of my responsibilities, which is promoting the health and safety of all of our students here at Ridgeview High School. The first W is wear. Wear a mask. Make sure you wear your mask when you're in the school, whenever you return to the school. Um, so when you guys come for orientation, you wanna make sure you have your mask if you're coming to pick up your textbook. When you're out in the community as well, do your civic duty, be responsible, wear your mask when you're around other people. Uh, because it's not just about you, it's about other people that you could potentially infect as well. The second W is watch. Make sure you are constantly washing your hands throughout the day. If you're touching various surfaces in your home, uh, in the school, in the community, make sure you take the opportunity to wash your hands and do it for 20 seconds. We learned at elementary school the happy birthday song, right? You, there's two different versions. You can sing in either of the versions, and that's going to uh, accommodate that 20 second minimum. Make sure you wash your hands. If you don't have soap and water, hand sanitizer. Um, well, I think it's 60% alcohol based. Make sure you use a hand sanitizer if you don't have soap and water at your disposal. Uh, the, the next W is whoa, 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 whoa. Don't put your hands in your face, right? If I see you trying to put your hands in your face, I might have to treat you like I treat my daughter and tap that hand. Don't put your hands in your face. That third W again is whoa, don't touch your face. 
And lastly, the last W is watch. Practice social distancing, six feet. Stay away from large crowds, large gatherings, large groups. When you come back to school in a hybrid model, uh, make sure that you're not congregating in hallways, right? We're doing our due diligence to make sure we have a one-way hallway plan for you guys next year so that you're all traveling in the same direction so you're not crossing paths. So we're doing our uh, due diligence as a school, and we need you guys to do your due diligence as well. So make sure you're watching for your surroundings, watching to make sure you're socially distant uh, from individuals in school, in the community, uh, and things like that as well. All right, on to a, something a little bit more exciting, construction. I know uh, Ms. Myers mentioned to you earlier about our new, uh, some of our new parking procedures, but Ridgeview is currently under construction, okay? We're getting a new state-of-the-art stadium that's being built. It should be done by the end of next school year. Um, well, this school year, actually, by the end of, in May, uh, construction should be done on our stadium. So we're so excited about that to finally get our own uh, Ridgeview Stadium uh, in the backyard. Uh, and that project has been going on since, uh, since May uh, this past school year. Uh, we're also getting a weight room renovation. I know Dr. Mack talked to you a little bit about that earlier as it relates to the school tour and the old weight room, but we're getting a new one as well. Um, and you can see those, some of those pictures uh, on the screen. Uh, our gym lobby is being expanded. So that's another part of the construction renovation that's happening at Ridgeview right now. And last but not least, right now where I'm standing in the auditorium, uh, construction is going to start on that within the next couple of weeks. So it's a very busy and exciting time for us at Ridgeview. Our school is growing. We're excited to have you here. Um, and because we're growing so much, there's a need to renovate some of the uh, old spaces that we've had since 1995 that Dr. Mack talked to you about a little bit earlier. All right, so parents, I know many of you are asking this question. Okay, I know my child is going back to school virtually, but how can I get involved? How can I get involved with what's going on at Ridgeview? And we have two perfect opportunities for you to get involved with your child's education here at Ridgeview High School. The first is PTSO, our parent-teacher student organization, which is headed by Mrs. Dana Robertson. She's our PTSO president. Uh, her contact information is on the screen. We typically meet uh, in the media center the first Mondays of every month at six o'clock for PTSO. So the first meeting will be virtual and we'll send that information out to you via Connect Ed. PTSO is open for everybody. So just reach out to Ms. Robertson. She'll let you know how you can pay your fees uh, and get associated with our uh, PTSO uh, so that you can impact things that are going on here at your child's school. The second opportunity that we have for you is our School Improvement Council, uh, which is headed by uh, Mr. Jarrell Arsenal. He's the president of SIC, uh, and those meetings take place immediately after our PTSO meetings. Um, and you can contact Mr. Arsenal at the email list above, and he'll get you all the uh, details that you need to get involved with SIC. Um, SIC meets immediately after, as I stated, at 7 o'clock, same place, Media Center, at the start of the school year. Those meetings will be virtual, uh, but we look forward to uh, seeing you uh, as a part of either or both of those organizations. All right, and I know I told you guys earlier that I'm the assistant principal over Blazer Academy, which is our freshman academy. Uh, so I'm excited to tell you that on Friday, August 28th, we're bringing you our virtual Fresh Start program. Fresh Start is the first day of school uh, for ninth grade students, okay? And it's typically the day before uh, school traditionally starts for everybody else, so that will be a Friday, Friday, August 28th. So freshman parents, Freshman parents only, be sure that you are checking your emails because this information is going to be sent out to you um, to make sure your, your student has access to everything that they need as it relates to Fresh Start, what classes they're going to go to, how they're going to run through their schedule, and the different round robin sessions that we have for them on that day as well. So again, Fresh Start, Friday, August 28th, that's going to be the first virtual day uh, for freshman students and myself as well as the Blazer Academy team. We look forward to acclimating all of our 410 freshman students to Ridgeview High School on that day. Along with uh, our virtual Fresh Start, we have some other upcoming virtual events as well, okay? Ms. Uh, Dr. Mack Foxworth and Ms. Fennell already talked to you about orientation. Again, those dates are August 19th and August 20th, and that, e that information has already been sent out to you. 
okay? Um, in preparation for Fresh Start, we're having some freshman parent sessions at uh, Blazer Academy on August 21st. So check your emails. You're going to get some communication regarding that as well. We're going to do a morning session, an afternoon session, and an evening session uh, all uh, on Facebook Live. So make sure you're following a uh, review of those social media sites that Ms. Myers mentioned to you earlier. And last but not least, the first day of school. Finally, we're back in school, August 31st. It's a little bit later than normal, but we're excited to have you guys back virtually. Uh, August 31st, the first day of school, and I know Dr. Evans already went over the uh, bell schedule with you, and that information, of course, will be sent out to you uh, as well. All right. Again, I'm so excited to welcome you all to Ridgeview. Um, it's an exciting time, albeit different, uh, but exciting nonetheless. And I believe that that success that Dr. Max spoke about earlier, that expectation of success, each and every one of you are going to reach that expectation in academics, arts, activities, athletics, and everything else everything else that you decide to pursue while you're here uh, for your time at Ridgeview. Our contact information is on the screen. Again, Dr. Mack mentioned that we are here from 8 to 4, Monday through Friday. If you need to reach us, 803-699-2999. That will take you directly to the main office and they'll get you who you need to speak to at that time. Administrators are in the building every single day. If you need to stop by, our address is on the screen as well, as well as our social media sites. Okay. Um, at this time, I hope you've been interacting uh, on Facebook Live and YouTube. Um, we're answering your questions as you ask them. Um, continue to ask questions and we'll be here for about another 15 minutes or so, or at least until we get all those questions uh, answered. Again, I'm so excited to welcome you all to Ridgeview and I can't wait to get the 2020-2021 school year started. Love you guys and we'll see you soon.